Okay, well, I hope you all had a good new year. Um, this is my first video of, of 2012. The layout's not up at the moment. Well, it's, it's had to be put away for a reason. It should be up again, hopefully, in a few weeks. But at the moment, uh, my brother's room just next door is currently being redone. So um, it, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's kind of being done now. So if you hear any noises, that's that. Um, the work being done. Um, and stuff is currently being stored in here. Yeah, so the layer is unable to be up at the moment, but I'll get it up um, um, hopefully as soon as everything's been sorted. Now, both my hands are free, as you can see, and, and the camera's a little bit higher off the ground. That's because um, I've got this very um, cool, uh, ideal um, flexi leg camera tripod in a Christmas cracker on Christmas Day. So, um, just see, I've got a picture of it there. Well, a bit, a big, giant, thick Christmas cracker, the biggest ones we've, we've ever had. That was a... Um, that was um, our Christmas, well, um, all, all Christmas stuff set for Christmas Day on, on our kitchen table downstairs, and, there, and there's one of our one of our giant crackers. Hornby LMS, file two six four number four two three five five. I think I'm going to hold my super detail model ones here, as you can see. I've had this locker for a few years. I got it from Hobbycraft, and uh, it was about, uh, I think it was about uh, 70, between 60 and 70 quid, but I got it 30% off. It's still got the stickers on, as you can see there. Yeah, you've probably, pro um, pro um, probably heard the start. Um, Hobbycraft, there's one not too far from where I live. This is where I got this engine. Now, um, I did. I think I did one video of this one on my old channel. Uh, well, um, well, which was a while back, of course. Um, about was it last year or 2010? I'm not. I'm not really sure. But you haven't really seen much of this one, so I'll do an unboxing video of her now. Unfortunately, she's uh, this local has got uh, at the moment uh, serious mood changes. Now, what I mean is that um, when she runs, when she runs smooth, she's very smooth. But um, she can all of a sudden change like that. To jerking, being erratic. She hasn't really been opened up in a while. Um, so I, I'm not. I'm not really sure if she's had much, um, much work done to her in, in the past. But she looks. Um, she's in brilliant condition. She's a. She's a fantastic engine. All that really happened accidentally once was the uh, front vacuum pipe snapped off, but uh, we managed to glue it back on perfectly, and um, you'd and you'd never know. But she, um, but she's a beautiful engine. And my dad's a big fan of this one as well. Really nice detail. It's a shame there's none of these engines preserved. The Fowler two, the Fa the Fowler two six four class. Again, again with a large coal bunker at the back and pretty large cab as well. So uh, unfortunately, she's not really running the best at the moment. Again, as I said, can change her mood. Um, uh, well, v um, very sudden again. Um, but as I said, uh, she um, does run smooth, but can really act up bad when she wants to at the moment. So, pro probably next time I get the light up. So, um, so again, of course, I, I can test straight away once I'm done. I'll probably uh, remove her body off off the chassis, have a quick look inside, or probably give her a quicker, well, bit of lubricating, a bit of a clean inside. The screw to undo is ju might just be able to see it in there. I think it's just that one screw. I'm pretty sure for some strange reason that screw was missing. This is going to sound strange. I can't remember how it was, but that screw was. I'm pretty sure it. I'm pretty sure it was missing when I first ran the loco, and uh, the chassis kept. Well, the wheel set. Um, the wheels kept moving, sort of bobbing up and down whenever you picked her up, and I thought something's not right here. When all of a sudden when I picked her up. Just dropped out straight away, and um, that screw. I'm pretty sure that that this is gonna sound really odd. It'll, it'll, probably, it'll probably puzzle you, but that screw was in the spares, in the spare part, which was in there. Um, most of, in there, most of them have been taken out, including the little step ladders, which I've glued on right there on both, on on both sides. Uh, I'm pretty sure that screw was in there as um, 
as, as well as the tiny screw to fit on the to fit on the front to, to fit on the front coupling, which uh, didn't really want to go in far. And the front coupling's not very secure, but it just seems to pull bunker first. She seems to pull bunker first, all right. You know, but we didn't. You know, but we didn't even know. You know, you'd expect all the screws to be in place. But again, really nice detail on this engine. Let's have a look at this side of her. Really nice detail. Yeah, no, not good at close-ups, but uh, again, she's got a pretty large open cab. Well, quite long in length, as you have a look in there. And the uh, uh, the um, British Railways um, early, I'm pretty sure it's the early crest with the lion standing over the logo, before it changed to the um, the the lion crown and the lion crown holding wheel. Some, yeah. Again, again, the front of her. If you look there, it may remind you of a seven F five three eight two nine similar. Um, similar ones there, of course. So was it was it um, you know former Somerset and Dorset for the two eight O's. Again, there's um, two seven S preserved, but it's a shame there's none of these left. Because I really, really like I really, really like the like the design of this engine. But she um, needs currently a little bit of um, maintenance repair. Well, a, a a bit of checks at the moment, and she's um, and she's not running the best. But um, you, you you get her running at full speed and. Uh, and she seems to um, loosen up and come smooth, but um, it do but it doesn't take long for her to for her mood to change and 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 make her well, and that's when she starts being erratic and sometimes just dying completely, you know. Like, again, she can change all of a sudden, which which is a bit annoying. Cause I love this engine. I hope nothing's gone wrong in there. But as I said, I'll remove a chassis um, because um, this um, one looks quite easy to do. You, you, you can just see part of like motor parts if you look carefully in there, like a wire there. She's um, not really as sealed and fit and fit and fairly simple to take apart. You know, it's um, not a squeezing and pushing t um, tight hard job like most of them are these days. And uh, if you've got one of these, or if you're getting one, just watch, just watch the back pony truck as well. It, it can, if, if it can turn a lot, the wheel can. It sort of moves and be careful it be careful it doesn't get caught on the side cab steps here. So hopefully you'll see this engine running um per uh, uh, perfectly one day or, or well or, or hopefully when she's in a good mood. So being a very moody engine at the moment, but beautiful detail. I love that little gold I'm not I'm not really sure what that is, but a little gold part on the side. There, nice detail on the roof, the whistles, safety valves. That's where the comrades. Brilliant loco. Um, a, num a number of the sanders, what you can just pick out there. Brilliant loco. Again, um, so yeah, out there, probably may know the reason why the screw was, why why that back screw was not in. And um, again, I said, I'm pretty sure for some reason in the spare part uh, area. Um, you know, again, you had to fix the front coupling on, and as, as I said, it hasn't gone on really well. It's a bit wobbly, but it seems to, but it seems to hook on. Okay, well, it, it well just as long as it as it hooks on. Okay. Again, if you if you know the reason about that, because it it did really puzzle me. Amid amid you know and my dad as well. He was shocked when he saw that. Um, uh, put it down in the comments. So again, that's a uh, LMS Fowler number. Four two three five five. Um, you can also get the you can get these in either this BR livery. I've seen one um, in BR livery, but full unlined black with British Railways big big words along the side, and in LMS crimson as well, which look which look very smart in there. They look good in the LMS livery. Okay, so let's um, let's hope we can get a back to full full running order one day.